Hey everybody, welcome back to Church and Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're doing the final round of my best bourbons under $20 challenge. So these were the 12 contenders. I've had two rounds of videos already. Um, the first round was this group over here. And um, this is 80 to 90 proof bourbons. Second round was this group over here, and this was 100 to 103 proof bourbons. So um, all under $20. Um, the winners of these of this group was the uh, Ancient Age and the Old Granddad. The winner of this group over here was the Wild Turkey and the Emblems Fallen Bond. So all right, I'll clean this up. We're going to be tasting the top two of this group against the top two of this group, all four of them together. I'm going to pick my my best or favorite bourbon under $20. All right, everybody, before we get started here, I just want to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button. If you've been watching my videos, been following along with this challenge or any of my other videos, uh, if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do so. I uh, appreciate the subscriptions. If you're new here, you know, watch this video and think about subscribing if you, if you like what you see. Um, Obviously, if you like what you see, hit that like button also, but uh, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this is the uh, top four contenders now. We've narrowed it down from 12 to four. Um, we've got, um, proof-wise, we've got Old Granddad coming in at 80 proof. We've got Ancient Age 90 coming in at 90 proof. We've got Evan Williams Bottom and Bond coming in at 100 proof, and Wild Turkey 101 at 101 proof. So we got no range here from 80 to 101 proof. Um, We've got one bottle and bond. We've got um, um, this guy's actually a, a 1.75 liter bottle. It does come in a in a fifth size bottle. Uh, I hate that the, the 1.75 is in plastic, but uh, uh, I go through a lot of this ancient age. Um, I also apologize if this is not available to every, everybody's market. Um, I think this may be the hardest one to find. This is a Buffalo Trace product. This is only aged 36 months. Um, everything else here is aged at least four years. The 750 milliliter does come in glass and it comes in at, at 10 to $12. Okay. The old granddad uh, does come in and they do make a bottle and bond version of that. This is the 80 proof and it comes in at about 16 to $18. Uh, the Evan Williams bottle and bond is obviously a, a hundred proof. Um, it comes in at the, the 15 to, to $18 range around here also. And uh, the Wild Turkey 101 is probably the most expensive bottle here on the table. Um, also, the only one with a cork in it, uh, but it comes in at eight, that 18 to 20 dollar range around here in Louisville, Kentucky. So, I didn't mention it before, but uh, out of the 12 bourbons we had up here, I think only three of them had corks. So, you know, there were there were nine screw caps and three corks. So, nothing wrong with screw cap, but uh, just thought that was interesting. All right, I'm going to uh, make myself a little room here. I do have these four whiskeys already poured. Um, I've had them mixed up a little bit. I'm gonna pull them over here. I'm gonna mix them up a little bit more so I don't know which one is which. But um, we're gonna go through, we're gonna do a blind, blind nosing, blind tasting. Um, So I've got these four uh, poured already. I've got them sitting here. They've been they've been sitting they've been poured for about ten minutes. So uh, I'm going to go through and do a quick nose on them. Um, try to do a little bit more of an in-depth um, uh, analysis of these this time. I know some of the other videos I've been rushing through a little bit just to try to get get them through them. So I'll, I'll try to spend a little bit more time on these this time. Um, but we will call this uh, A B C D, and uh, I'm going to start with glass A. I'm going to go in for the nose. This one has a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of corn sweetness, but a little bit of uh, a floral notes on it also. But I do smell that uh, that corn, and I do smell some some floral on that one. Glass B. Oh, 
Uh, definitely vanilla. Yeah, some vanilla, some, some caramel on that. Um, that one hit me, maybe it's a little bit proofier than, than A, but uh, we'll find out. This one, this one has some um, some caramels and, and oak on it. Um, that one seems a little, you know, proofy also. I mean, the highest proof on the table is, is the Wild Turkey 101, so it's not incredibly proofy, but. So that one seemed less proofy, also, uh, but it but it had some um, it has some some vanillas on it also. So I'm gonna go back through and nose them again, but just in first pass, um, these two had uh, I say proofy, but just more alcohol in the nose, more ethanol in the nose uh, than than A and D did. So. Uh, that one, I, I didn't have the, the floral on that one that time. Definitely had the corn still. Um, but I actually, I actually got a faint whiff of uh, root beer. Aroma on that one that time, but I, I can certainly smell the, smell the oak on that B. Very caramel forward on this one. I, I think I said that the first time around, but... What beautiful nose on that. Um, you know, some, some caramel vanilla. Um, not noticing the ethanol so much this time, so I know it's maybe getting acclimated to it. All right, this one. sweetness and some uh, some oak on that so once again the, the ethanol is gone I'm not pulling that out more oak on that one but I am picking up ethanol on, on D now so uh, yeah we're, we're going we're, we'll go through and do taste cheers So that one is sweet on the front of the tongue. It's got some spice um, on the back top of the tongue. A uh, little bit of little bit of warmth going down, but um, the spice is a is a yeah. It has some has some caramel. And the um, and the spice is a, is a is a peppery spice. So. Sweeter on the tongue, um, less spice, more oak.
there is some uh, some caramel with that sweetness and uh, and the spice spice is coming it's coming a little late it's also on the uh, the top back of the tongue so but definitely more oak uh, drying on that one so good good amount though it's not not overpowering not off putting um, you know very tasty so let's see He had um, sweetness right up front, but spice came fast on that one. It's a uh, spicier, I'd say a, a cinnamon spicy hot, and it is more on the tongue, um, edge, edges back, uh, warm going down. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. Um, And the spice is lingering, so it's it's got a good finish on it too. So I think these are progressing. Uh, we'll go back and taste them again, but I think I liked B better than A and C better than B so far. Go in and taste D. A sweet caramel on that. Less spice than the than the previous couple I tasted. It does have a little bit there, but but um, it did coat the coat the mouth more than than I think any other three. So I've got the flavor all over my mouth. I mean, sides of my cheeks, top of my mouth, not just on the tongue. Uh, good, good, good caramel flavor. Spice is there. Um, it's on the on the back edges of the tongue and all that, and then some warmth going down. So delicious on that one also. So wow, I'm not going to rank these yet, but um, and it may be just because I went in first on A. But if you know, I think I liked uh, you know B better than A, C and D better than B. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover these up. Let them sit for about 10 minutes. We'll come back through. We'll taste these in reverse order. And, um, and I'll, I'll do an actual ranking and pick a winner. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're going to go through and uh, do the final uh, nosing and tasting on uh, these four. Um, on these four bourbons, and I'll pick my... Uh, my favorite bourbon under twenty dollars. So we'll start with D this time. Sweet. Vanilla. Caramel. Um, spices on the, on the roof of the mouth as well as the tongue. So nice, nice mouth coating once again. Not, uh, not really warm going down. Delicious, delicious sip. Um, very good flavors. Um, Spice is, is lingering. It's it's on the on the back of the mouth, you know, roof, tongue. Like I said, um, yeah. I think that may be the longest finish of the group. Um, yeah, it's it's still hanging on. Great great flavor. Um, right now it's still just on the tongue, but it's still tingling on the tongue. Um, yeah, delicious. I mean, that was that's everything you want a bourbon to be. Um, I mean, especially at this at this price point. I mean, it's you know it has the the caramel, the vanillas. Uh, not not really any oak on that one, um, but it does have the the spice. 
uh, cinnamon spice, I would say. Um, wasn't wasn't peppery, but yeah, great flavor. I will go with C. Very much caramel on the nose. Yeah, that spice hits you. I think it hits you the fastest out of all these. So it does have the spiciness, um, cinnamon spice, much so on the tongue. It's got some oak dryness there also. Um, very pleasant oak dryness. Um, it does have the does have sweetness, does have vanilla, does have caramel, so, um, wow. About those two, <laughs> neck and neck on those two. I, I think I keep coming back to vanilla on this one. Wonderful, wonderful aroma. I mean, I love, uh, I mean, a vanilla aroma. Um, I mean, I love, I love a caramel you know, creme brulee type, type aroma also. Uh, fruity aromas can be very, very, very nice, but, um, you know, vanilla, very nice. Definitely the, um, got the vanilla on the tongue also. Uh, sweetness on the tongue, less spicy than the previous ones. Um, but I mean the caramel vanilla, you know, very, very nice on that one. Um, yeah, definitely noticeably less spice. So man, th these are, these are all different. They're very close. Ah, I, I don't know why I oddly caught a, uh, a banana aroma on that. Um, I realize that you, know, you get that sometimes. It's usually not, never on the taste. It's just on the aroma. And I did have a root beer, I think, on this one the last time. So, if anything, this one's this one just has some some extra aromas. I think I had floral. I had you know root beer. Now I've got uh, banana. Very interesting on the nose on this one. Probably the most interesting of them all. Very sweet on the tongue, very sweet the taste. Um, probably the least amount of spice. Give it a minute there though, because sometimes that spice does come and it, and it is coming. Uh, so just very sweet initially and very late spice coming in. Um, Wow, this is going to be crazy difficult. Uh, none of them were hot or even very warm and going down. Uh, they almost all are just in the mouth. Um, I didn't get a single, you know, Kentucky hug out of any of these. Um, you know, they're not, none of them are super high proof, so. But uh, all different. Uh, I'm going to go back through, do some A-B tasting, and... Um, and I've got I got these ranked. This is gonna be tough, but uh, we'll get through it. So, cheers. Definitely, A's, A's going to be last here. Uh, definitely getting the uh, the vanillas on B. C's the spices of the bunch. I 
Yeah, but he definitely has the best nose. C definitely has, I think, the most oak. You know, B has the vanilla on the nose and on the taste. It has some caramels. It does have some um, some oak also. Um, and the spice spice is there. Um, I've got to put I've got to put B slightly above C. The uh, the finish on B pushes it above C. Definitely the sweetness, the caramel, the the oak on on D. Spice comes late. It lingers. It's got a good finish. I actually tried to pour more this round because I knew it was going to be going to do a more in-depth analysis, but um, I'm still running out on these guys. B is going to be the winner. Um, I don't know if you can see this from the screen. Let me scoot them back. Um, it's that vanilla. I mean, it, it had the caramels. It had the oaks. Um, it had the spice. It's one of the longer finishes. B and D had, had long finishes. Um, great nose, great taste on B. A had a very interesting nose, probably the weakest on the taste. A C, very strong on the taste. It said hitch up front, you know, spice, bam. I mean, it, it the strongest spice on the, just right up front. Um, but short, shorter finish on, on C though. B and D had the spice, but um, it might have came later, but it lingered longer. Um, excellent flavors. All right, let's go through and, um, and see what our results are here. In fourth place is the old granddad. So this one, this one had the most interesting nose. Uh, it wasn't a wasn't a bad nose it was a, it, I would say it was a good nose but it, it kept changing on me um, great nose but uh, had the least amount of spice um, had the least flavor on it now I know I've said before that old granddad comes in a bottle and bond you know, 100 proof um, and that one I don't like to sip on uh, I said in the first video I think um, it it's it's a great flavor um, but it's not a sip of a whiskey um, that's why I put this 80 proofer in here all right I'm gonna I'm gonna move these around as we go so so fourth place is the old granddad 80 proof uh, third place is wild turkey so I'm gonna put the wild turkey right here which is third place um, this is the highest proof, 101. I mean, it's not much higher than the than you have Evan Williams, but um, love, love Wild Turkey products. Uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed is one of my favorite sippers. Um, Wild Turkey 101 is an excellent, excellent mixer. Uh, great to sip on too. It's a, it's a delicious bourbon. But uh, I just know now I'm down to Ancient Age and Evan Williams. We're gonna see what we have here. Coming in third place, wow, is the Evan Williams. 
which tells me that the um, first place winner is the ancient age. Now, this guy was vanilla, vanilla, vanilla on the on the aroma, on the taste, which I love. It has the, the not only vanilla, it has the, the oak, the caramel, the sweetness, the spice is there, it has a good finish. Um, wow. I'm, I'm not totally surprised. Some people might be, you know, let me know in the comments down below. I know some people have been chasing the ancient, ancient age. I, I was fortunate enough to, to work down in North Carolina about a year ago for several months. And I picked up the ancient, ancient age and, um, and I compared it head to head with the St. Change 90. I could not tell any difference whatsoever. So it's, if you look at it, it's still aged 36 months. So even though this, this ancient age, 90 is age 36 months. The ancient, ancient age is not, it's not that, it's not any older. It's not ancient, more ancient. Um, some people think it is. Now they, they had, they have a, the ancient ancient age does say like 10 star or something. And it used to be 10 year old. It's not anymore. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I, not, not totally surprised here uh, that the old granddad came in last. I was actually the most surprised this even made it to the finals since it's 80 proof and now this probably is the highest rye though. I think this is 27% rye and everything else is probably only I'm just guessing uh, 12 to 15% rye. So, um, but uh, this guy lost out while Turkey was, was decent showing. Loved the wild Turkey. It had the spice, the spice hit you up front. Loved it. Um, Shorter finish on it though, and um, just unfortunate. Um, obviously, this guy advanced him at bottom bond challenge to the final round. Um, I like Evan Williams bottom bond. It came in second here. Wild Turkey, I love love their products. It came in third here, and Ancient Age is my uh, house bourbon. Love it. Cheers, everybody. Hope you liked what you saw here. Hit that like button and subscribe. Love to have you as a subscriber. If you want to see more from me, uh, hit that bell notification so you know when I have more content coming out. Leave comments down below what you think of this. I apologize if this is not available in your area. I'm sure the other ones are. Remember everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. And the best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers.